So I'm going to talk about a topic that I haven't talked about in a long time, and that's Bleach. Because I just got done watching the Full Bring arc, and I know there's a lot of controversy over this arc. And it's something I just, you know, I really want to talk about. I love Bleach. It's something that I watched when I was younger. And it's something that I really hope for the anime to return, right? And now, I want to talk about the Full Bring arc, and like, why does it get so much hate? And I don't really understand why. Because this arc is actually very well done. I would say... Out of the anime, I would say it's one of the better arcs. I mean, there's not too many arcs in Bleach in the anime because the arcs are so long, but you guys get the point. Now, I want to talk about this arc and, you know, start off with Ichigo here. So Ichigo is a character that really gets a crap ton of characterization in this arc, and it's really kind of the, you know, the most characterization he gets throughout the anime in general because he's such a closed-off character, not only to the people inside, you know, the characters inside the anime, but really to us, to the fans. We never truly know Ichigo. We know Ichigo, but we don't know him in an in-depth way whatsoever. So in the Full Bring arc, we actually found out that Ichigo is really a multi-layered character, and that's very rare to see. It's very rare to see. People think he's really cut and dry, but no. People like Natsu, people like Luffy, people like Naruto are actually way more cut and dry than Ichigo is. Yes, people are like, well, he just wanted to protect people. Yes, that that's true, but what I mean by that multi-layered layered character, not on like a Subaru, re, you know, ReZero level, because that, that's some craziness, but that's besides the point. Ichigo is really kind of like a two-layered character, I'd say, from what we know from, well, the Full Bring arc. Now, what I mean by that is simply, Ichigo was a character that never really wanted anything to do with his Soul Reaper powers, right? But at the same time, we find out in this arc that he took pride in every moment. So, that brings me to, yes, a lot of people take pride in what they do. Like me, for instance, I started a YouTube channel on video games. It wasn't working for me, and I had to swallow my pride and go to my other passion, which anime is even more my passion than video games, like competitive video games now. And it, it just goes to show that each goes really, it, he really is human. Because there's a lot of people that could go and, you know, they go to college and they could become a professional athlete, but they actually get, get the degree and do, you know, something else. And it demonstrates how he's so realistic. And we can say that he's way more realistic than a lot of other MCs out there. I mean, can we just be honest about that? Whether you dislike Bleach and or like it, that's simply a fact. And yes, before you guys go and say, well, later on in the arc, it clearly stated Ichigo wanted his power. He always wanted his power back. He's even on the ground crying that freaking Ginjo took his powers away and yes I get that but that helps support the whole taking pride in something but not necessarily wanting it over in something else and the other thing that he wanted more than his soul reaper powers at the time was truly well being a normal kid but at the same time he got put in a spot where he had to have realization and your realization sucks and that's why Ichigo went through that's why he went to get his powers anyways because he found out that he needed his powers more than his powers needed him what I mean by that is simply he needed them in order to protect his friends there's, there's nothing he could do there is absolutely nothing he could do and that's demonstrated whenever his sister gets attacked by a hollow perfectly Ichigo would have been easily killed when that was a hollow Ichigo would have defeated him once you know one swipe of his sword so it once again it shows how realistic Ichigo is as a character and everything that's going on just the soul reaper thing all that stuff a lot of you guys be like well how's that realistic we don't get to do that it's not about that it's about the character it's not about the events and you know that the character goes through it's about how he acts upon him you know how he reacts to every action the story gives him and in that case Ichigo is very realistic and it makes sense and that's absolutely amazing writing on Tech Kubo's part and I don't understand how people dislike that I I'm I'm really dumbfounded man I'm distraught I just don't understand, and a lot of times I see reasons about people disliking this arc. It really doesn't make sense to begin with. It's like people who said ReZero didn't have character development. I saw I saw comments about people saying that. I'm just kind of like, this is really what's happening to our anime community. The the show the show is literally it, it's based off character development and characterization. It's based off based off of, you know relatability. How doesn't he have character development? And that you know, and after I thought about that, I was not surprised. Because if someone's going to say ReZero doesn't have character development with our main character, then of course they're going to say stupid things about Bleach because they don't know any better. But that's certainly not the only thing this arc does well. In fact, the whole you know premise about Ichigo losing his powers and regaining them is actually done to a T. One, he starts off living a normal life and he likes it. Two, he gets the realization he needs his powers, slowly but surely. Three, 
he tries to seek out a way to get his powers. In a sense, at least he's thinking about it, but, you know, of course, Ginjo actually comes to him. Now, in 4, he, you know, he finally gets his powers back. He does the training. He goes through all of that, and to just get them taken away in the end, but then get them back again. It adds such a great, you know, dramatic tone. And I, once again, I don't understand what people don't like about that. What's so bad about that writing? In fact, I don't see anything wrong with that writing at all. And once again, that writing created great characterization. We actually even get to see Ichigo not just crying, but bawling his eyes out. That's something that we've never gotten, you know, to see. So once again, that correlates to great characterization. And if you can make a plot make great characteriz characterization, once again, that's good writing. But now I really want to talk about the antagonist. The whole, you can cut somebody and replace their memory is absolutely amazing it's a it's a great tactic especially whenever you have ichigo finally gets his powers and then he goes home and he sees all these people thinking that this this man is their cousin their friend their ally and we see he literally took advantage of everyone and the fact that the execution group and ginjo actually made themselves get cut and then get cut again to come back to who they really are as a person that's really unique, and I thought I found that really being original because I don't really see we don't ever see antagonists really entrust not necessarily just their life but their their well being. You know, Ginjo and all of them could have been taken advantage of so you know just so easily. I mean, just snap of fingers, it wouldn't matter. It would have been so easily. In fact, they I guess in a sense they were being taken you know taken advantage of even though it's all part of their plan but it, just to see that happens really original to actually see an antagonist work so well with the other antagonist in the sense of he's literally has his life at you know just he can just get rid of his life and dispose of this person just like that we don't see that and a lot of time we see maybe a backstab kind of move and we didn't get to see that we did not get to see that here and that's awesome that's original and a lot of people are like, well, no it's not guys guys bleach came out way before these 2000 10 plus you know so on and so forth anime so just calm down and hold on to your zanpak toes it's, it, it's it's okay it's okay that i'm right it's okay that you're wrong it's okay it's okay that you guys hate on series for all the wrong reasons it's okay that you guys just don't understand good writing sometimes not all of you but some of you and if you're one of those people hey bleach isn't the show to take out your anger on neither is taikubo so <laughs> How about we actually try to band together and get this anime back? No one man should have all, all that power. That's something that Kanye West actually said in the song, and that kind of relates to Shueisha. That kind of relates to any publisher, which really Shueisha is the only one doing these kind of stupid things with animes which made a lot of money. Because I, I want to ask you guys a question. Why was that Bleach manga even really got canceled? Yes, Tech Kubo was sick and all that. We found that out. But... Still, you could tell he's told to be canceled. I have a question for you. I have one question. Why was a show that was, you know, and or a manga, and or a show that was selling better than most of the Big Ten, which actually, if don't quote me on this, but I believe if you went back and watched and, you know, checked out the Naruto DVDs per season, because they didn't, I don't think they had Blu-rays at that time. If you went back and checked out the DVDs, if you went back and checked out the One Piece DVDs, I'm pretty sure Bleach in its prime actually sold more dvds than those per season i'm pretty sure don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure but i want to ask you guys a question why is it that shonen uh, not shonen jump but shueisha you know it's all the same thing why is it that they have so much power why is it that they ended a manga that was selling in its top 10 still and not cut out an anime that was selling in the bottom five in the sense of 30 through 25 somewhere in there why is it but more importantly why is it that people hate on Bleach so much? 